Bracket, Wikipedia article audio. Cent, cent, dollar, euro, m, p, pound, yen. A bracket is a tall punctuation mark typically used in matched pairs within text, to set apart or interject other text. The matched pair is best described as opening and closing. Less formally, in a left-to-right context, it may be described as left and right, and in a right-to-left context, as right and left. History Names for various bracket symbols Forms include round, square, curly, and angle brackets, and various other pairs of symbols. In addition to referring to the class of all types of brackets, the unqualified word bracket is most commonly used to refer to a specific type of bracket, in modern American usage this is usually the square bracket and in modern British usage this is usually the round bracket. Chevrons were the earliest type of bracket to appear in written English. Desiderius Erasmus coined the term lunula to refer to the rounded parentheses, recalling the shape of the crescent moon. Some of the following names are regional or contextual. The characters end, known as gilemets or angular quote brackets, are actually quotation mark glyphs used in several European languages. Which one of each pair is the opening quote mark and which is the closing quote varies between languages. Typography Similarly, the corner brackets are quotation marks used in East Asian languages. In English, typographers generally prefer to not set brackets in italics, even when the enclosed text is italic. However, in other languages like German, if brackets enclose text in italics, they are usually set in italics too. Types and uses Parentheses slash p R N S I Z slash contain material that serves to clarify or is aside from the main point. A milder effect may be obtained by using a pair of commas as the delimiter, though if the sentence contains commas for other purposes, visual confusion may result. In American usage, parentheses are usually considered separate from other brackets and calling them brackets is unusual. Parentheses may be used in formal writing to add supplementary information, such as sen. John McCain spoke at length. They can also indicate shorthand for either singular or plural for nouns, e.g. the claim. It can also be used for gender-neutral language, especially in languages with grammatical gender, e.g. he agreed with his physician. Parentheses Parenthetical phrases have been used extensively in informal writing and stream-of-consciousness literature. Examples include the Southern American author William Faulkner as well as poet E. E. Cummings. Usage in writing Parentheses have historically been used where the dash is currently used in alternatives, such as parenthesis inside another set. This is not commonly used in formal writing will be used for one or more inner set of parentheses. Any punctuation inside parentheses or other brackets is independent of the rest of the text, Mrs. Penny Farthing was my landlady. In this usage, the explanatory text in the parenthesis is a parenthesis. Usage as anti-Semitic symbol In more formal usage, parenthesis may refer to the entire bracketed text, not just to the punctuation marks used. Lowercase Latin letters used as indexes, rather than bullets or numbers, followed by an unpaired parenthesis are used in ordered lists especially in 
Since 2014, anti-Semites have used triple parentheses around the names of people to denote them as Jewish. Parentheses are used in mathematical notation to indicate grouping, often inducing a different order of operations. For example, in the usual order of algebraic operations, 2 plus 3 times 4 equals 14, since the multiplication is done before the addition. However, times 4 equals 20, because the parentheses override normal precedence, causing the addition to be done first. Some authors follow the convention in mathematical equations that, when parentheses have one level of nesting, the inner pair are parentheses and the outer pair are square brackets. Example A related convention is that when parentheses have two levels of nesting, curly brackets are the outermost pair. Following this convention, when more than three levels of nesting are needed, often a cycle of parentheses, square brackets, and curly brackets will continue. This helps to distinguish between one such level and the next. Usage in Mathematics Parentheses are also used to set apart the arguments in mathematical functions. For example, f is the function f applied to the variable x. In coordinate systems parentheses are used to denote a set of coordinates, so in the Cartesian coordinate system may represent the point located at 4 on the x-axis and 7 on the y-axis. Usage in programming languages Parentheses may also be used to represent a binomial coefficient. Parentheses, brackets, parens, round brackets, soft brackets, first brackets, or circle brackets, braces are two connecting marks used in printing, and in music to connect staves to be performed at the same time, French brackets, curly brackets, definite brackets, swirly brackets, curly braces, birdie brackets, Scottish brackets, Squirrella brackets, gull wings, seagulls, squiggly brackets, twirly brackets, toborg brackets, accolades, pointy brackets, second brackets, fancy brackets, m. brace, square brackets, closed brackets, hard brackets, third brackets, crotchets, or brackets. Pointy brackets, angle brackets, triangular brackets, diamond brackets, tuples, or chevrons, inequality signs, pointy brackets, or brackets. Sometimes referred to as angle brackets, in such cases as HTML markup. Occasionally known as broken brackets or brokets. Corner brackets. Double square brackets white square brackets, tortoise shell brackets, guillemets, and, are sometimes referred to as chevrons or angle brackets. Parentheses are included in the syntaxes of many programming languages. Typically needed to denote an argument, to tell the compiler what data type the method slash function needs to look for first in order to initialize. In some cases, such as in Lisp, parentheses are a fundamental construct of the language. Parentheses are used in chemistry to denote a polyatomic ion. Square brackets also called crotchets or simply brackets are mainly used to insert explanatory material or to mark where a passage was omitted from an original material by someone other than the original author, or to mark modifications in quotations. Usage in other scientific fields Square brackets Usage in journalism Usage in proofreading A bracketed ellipsis, is often used to indicate omitted material, I'd like to thank for their tolerance bracketed comments inserted into a quote indicate when the original has been modified for clarity, I appreciate it, but I must refuse 
and the future of Shinix is in doubt. Or one can quote the original statement I hate to do laundry with the modification inserted, he hate to do laundry. Additionally, a small letter can be replaced by a capital one, when the beginning of the original text is omitted for succinctness, for example, when referring to a verbose original, to the extent that policymakers and elite opinion in general have made use of economic analysis at all, they have, as the saying goes, done so the way a drunkard uses a lamp post, for support, not illumination, it can be quoted succinctly as, Olasimakers made use of economic analysis the way a drunkard uses a lamp post, for support, not illumination. When nested parentheses are needed, brackets are used as a substitute for the inner pair of parentheses within the outer pair. When deeper levels of nesting are needed, convention is to alternate between parentheses and brackets at each level. Alternatively, Empty square brackets can also indicate omitted material, usually single letter only. The original reading is also a process and it also changes you. Can be rewritten in a quote as, it has been suggested that reading can also change you. The bracketed expression is used after a quote or reprinted text to indicate the passage appears exactly as in the original source where it may otherwise appear that a mistake has been made in reproduction. In translated works, brackets are used to signify the same word or phrase in the original language to avoid ambiguity. For example, he is trained in the way of the open hand. Brackets are added to the sides of text in proofreading to indicate changes in indentation. Brackets are used in mathematics in a variety of notations, including standard notations for intervals, commutators, the floor function, the Lie bracket, equivalence classes, the Iverson bracket, and matrices. Square brackets may also represent intervals, 0, 5. Usage in scientific fields Brackets can also be used in chemistry to represent the concentration of a chemical substance or to denote distributed charge in a complex ion. Brackets are used in many computer programming languages, primarily to force the order of evaluation and for parameter lists and array indexing. But they are also used to denote general tuples, sets, and other structures, just as in mathematics. There may be several other uses as well, depending on the language at hand. In linguistics, phonetic transcriptions are generally enclosed within brackets, often using the International Phonetic Alphabet, whereas phonemic transcriptions typically use paired slashes. Pipes are often used to indicate a morphophonemic rather than phonemic representation. Other conventions are double slashes, double pipes and curly brackets. In lexicography, square brackets usually surround the section of a dictionary entry which contains the etymology of the word the entry defines. Other uses Curly brackets Angle brackets Brackets are used to denote parts of the text that need to be checked when preparing drafts prior to finalizing a document. They often denote points that have not yet been agreed to in legal drafts and the year in which a report was made for certain case law decisions. Curly brackets are also called braces in the United States. They are rarely used in prose and have no widely accepted use in formal writing but may be used to mark words or that should be taken as a group, to avoid confusion when other types of brackets are already in use, or for a special purpose specific to the publication. More commonly, they are used to indicate a group of lines that should be taken together, as in when referring to several lines of poetry that should be repeated. In music, 
they are known as accolades or braces, and connect two or more lines of music that are played simultaneously. In mathematics they delimit sets, and in writing, they may be used similarly, select your animal and follow me. In many programming languages, they enclose groups of statements and create a local scope. Such languages are therefore called curly bracket languages. In classical mechanics, curly brackets are often also used to denote the Poisson bracket between two quantities. Chevrons Similar to the commonly used less than and greater than sign, are often used to enclose highlighted material. Lenticular brackets in physical sciences, chevrons are used to denote an average over time or over another continuous parameter. For example, the inner product of two vectors is commonly written as a, b, but the notation is also used. In mathematical physics, especially quantum mechanics, it is common to write the inner product between elements as AB, as a short version of AB, or AOB, where O is an operator. This is known as Dirac notation or Brockett notation. In set theory, chevrons or parentheses are used to denote ordered pairs and other tuples, whereas curly brackets are used for unordered sets. In linguistics, Chevrons indicate graphemes or orthography, as in the English word slash cat slash is spelled, cat, dot. In epigraphy, they may be used for mechanical transliterations of a text into the Latin script. In textual criticism, and hence in many editions of pre-modern works, chevrons denote sections of the text which are illegible or otherwise lost the editor will often insert their own reconstruction where possible within them. Chevrons are infrequently used to denote words that are thought instead of spoken, such as The mathematical or logical symbols for greater than and less than are inequality symbols, when either symbol is bisected by a vertical line, it represents not greater than or not less than, respectively. These symbols are not punctuation marks when used, as intended, to represent an inequality. However, as true chevrons are not present on computer keyboards, the available less than and greater than symbols are often used instead. They are loosely referred to as angle brackets or chevrons in this case, but more properly and less confusingly as pointy brackets. Single and double pairs of comparison operators are sometimes used as a fallback instead of gil limits when the proper characters are not available on the keyboard nor in the input editor. Similarly, early internet messaging conventions developed to use the greater than sign, available in the ASCII character set, to mark quoted lines. This format, known as Usenet quoting, is used by email clients when operating in plain text mode. Floor and ceiling corners Quine corners and half brackets In comic books, chevrons are often used to mark dialogue that has been translated notionally from another language, in other words, if a character is speaking another language, instead of writing in the other language and providing a translation, one writes the translated text within chevrons. Of course, since no foreign language is actually written, this is only notionally translated. In continuum mechanics, chevrons may be used as Macaulay brackets. Double brackets In East Asian punctuation, angle brackets are used as quotation marks. Chevron-like symbols are part of standard Chinese and Korean punctuation, where they generally enclose the titles of books and or 
and for traditional vertical printing, and or and for horizontal printing. Brackets with quills. Specific uses. Computing. Mathematics. Accounting. Law. Sports. Encoding in digital media. Bibliography. Some East Asian languages use lenticular brackets. A combination of square brackets and parentheses called Fangtu Kuahao in Chinese and Sumitsuki in Japanese. They are used for inference in Chinese and used in titles and headings in Japanese. The floor corner brackets and the ceiling corner brackets and are used to denote the integer floor and ceiling functions. The quine corners and have at least two uses in mathematical logic, either as quasi-quotation, a generalization of quotation marks, or to denote the Gödel number of the enclosed expression. Half brackets are used in English to mark added text, such as in translations, Bill saw, her. In editions of papyrological texts, half brackets, and, or, and, in closed text which is lacking in the papyrus due to damage, but can be restored by virtue of another source, such as an ancient quotation of the text transmitted by the papyrus. For example, Callimachus Iambus 1.2 reads T S S S S P P S S A hole in the papyrus has obliterated S S P but these letters are supplied by an ancient commentary on the poem Second intermittent sources can be between and Quine corners are sometimes used instead of half brackets. Double brackets are used to indicate the semantic evaluation function in formal semantics for natural language and denotational semantics for programming languages. The brackets stand for a function that maps a linguistic expression to its denotation or semantic value. Double brackets may also refer to the mathematical floor function. Known as spike parentheses and are used in Swedish dictionaries. The various bracket characters are frequently used in many programming languages as operators or for other syntax markup. For instance, in C-like languages, are often used to delimit a code block and the parameters of method calls are generally enclosed by in C, C++, Java, and other C-derived languages as well as in scheme-influenced languages that have adopted C-slash-Java syntax, such as JavaScript the symbols are referred to as braces or curly braces and never as brackets. Since the term brace is documented in the definitive programming specifications for these languages, it is preferable to use the correct term brace so there is no confusion between the brace and the bracket, used to denote other concepts, such as array indices. In addition to the use of parentheses to specify the order of operations, both parentheses and brackets are used to denote an interval also referred to as a half-open range. The notation is used to indicate an interval from a to C that is inclusive of a but exclusive of C. That is, would be the set of all real numbers between 5 and 12, including 5 but not 12. The numbers may come as close as they like to 12, including 11.999 and so forth, but 12.0 is not included. In some European countries, the notation for a more complete treatment. In quantum mechanics, chevrons are also used as part of Dirac's formalism, 
bra ket notation, to note vectors from the dual spaces of the bra, a and the ket b. Mathematicians will also commonly write a, b, for the inner product of two vectors. In statistical mechanics, chevrons denote ensemble or time average. Chevrons are used in group theory to write group presentations, and to denote the subgroup generated by a collection of elements. Note that obtuse angled chevrons are not always distinguished from a pair of less than and greater than signs, which are sometimes used as a typographic approximation of chevrons. In group theory and ring theory, brackets denote the commutator. In group theory, the commutator is commonly defined as G-1H-1GH. In ring theory, the commutator is defined as AB, BA. Furthermore, in ring theory, braces denote the anti-commutator where is defined as AB and BA. The bracket is also used to denote the Lie derivative, or more generally the Lie bracket in any Lie algebra. Various notations, like the vinculum have a similar effect to brackets in specifying order of operations, or otherwise grouping several characters together for a common purpose. In the Z-formal specification language, braces define a set and chevrons define a sequence. Traditionally in accounting, contra amounts are placed in parentheses. A debit balance account in a series of credit balances will have brackets and vice versa. Brackets are used in some countries in the citation of law reports to identify parallel citations to non-official reporters. For example, Chronicle Pub. Covey. Superior Court. 54 Cal.2D 548. In some other countries, square brackets are used to indicate that the year is part of the citation and parentheses are used to indicate the year the judgment was given. For example, National Coal Board v England AC 403, is in the 1954 volume of the appeal cases reports although the decision may have been given in 1953 or earlier. Whereas 98 Sol Jo 176 reports a decision from 1954, in volume 98 of the Solicitor's Journal which may be published in 1955 or later. When quoted material is in any way altered, the alterations are enclosed in brackets within the quotation. For example, plaintiff asserts his cause is just, stating, why causes is just. Although in the original quoted sentence the word my was capitalized, it has been modified in the quotation and the change signaled with brackets. Similarly, where the quotation contained a grammatical error, the quoting author signaled that the error was in the original with. Tournament brackets the diagrammatic representation of the series of games played during a tournament usually leading to a single winner, are so named for their resemblance to brackets or braces. Representations of various kinds of brackets in Unicode and HTML are given below. Braces first became part of a character set with the 8-bit code of the IBM 7030 stretch. The angle brackets or chevrons at U plus 27E8 and U plus 27E9 are for mathematical use in Western languages, whereas U plus 3008 and U plus 3009 are for East Asian languages. The chevrons at U plus 2329 and U plus 232A are deprecated in favor of the U plus 3008 and U plus 3009 East Asian angle brackets. Unicode discourages their use for mathematics and in Western texts, because they are canonically equivalent to the CJK code points U plus 300X and thus likely to render as double width symbols. The less than and greater than symbols are often used as replacements for chevrons. <laughs>